All right. Good morning, guys. I am jumping online to finish our Q&A this morning instead of doing a class for you. Um, we are, what, like day nine of our quarantine. I know here in Kansas City where we have talks of martial law, kind of like everything closing down for the next two weeks. So um, I don't know where what's happening in your world, but that's kind of what's happening here. We don't have specific um, in, in, uh, information yet whether that's going to happen. But I'm going to give you guys an incentive. If for some reason your community, your town goes into martial law this weekend, um, which could be. And, you know, from from the third dimensional perspective, they're just trying to, like, lower the contamination. It's not like, oh, my God, they're trapping us in their house just to be able to go to the grocery store and things like that. But anyways, um, it's all good. And one of the, the things that Spirit brought to me yesterday morning, which was fascinating, was I just wanted to give you a message direct from, from Spirit and said, right now, where we are as a collective, we're trying to slow ourselves down to speed ourselves up. We understand that the arrow effect has to be pulled back in order to launch forward and we're moving into this new earth we're moving into this new space we're moving into the fourth phase of awakening which is heart opening and we can't do that where and how we were doing our lives before and here's why most everyone on the planet who is part of society right has the addiction of what's called futurism okay and the addiction of futurism resides in the next moment will be better the next day will be better the next paycheck will be better, the next boyfriend will be better, the next house will be better, the next item I buy on Amazon will be better. And that's what like future addiction is. Now, if you understand quantum physics, you understand that if I'm chasing the future, I'm not in the present moment. And if I'm not in the present moment, why am I not in the present moment? I'm not in the present moment because I'm afraid the past is going to catch up to me. I'm, so I'm running away from the present moment to get to a future moment so the past will not catch up to me. So what Spirit said basically is this is a forced present moment activation for the world because we have such a level of uncertainty. We can't make plans. We can't make booking. We can't book trips right now. We can't, you know, all we can do is prepare for the next two weeks of surviving food and things like that. So it's actually a really powerful place for all of us to be in because we're going to be forced into the present moment and we're going to be forced to look at the past. It's going to start slapping into you, right? Your past is going to start slapping into you because there's no forward motion to run away to. This is a very powerful, powerful place for all of us because there's nowhere to go. There's nowhere to be except with you. And it's time for you to look at what you've been running from and and your fears and your considerations and your you know, metaphors of the way that you see the world have a lot to do with your level of wounding, okay? So however you see these events playing out, the way that you see your reality is coming from your belief system, which is coming from your biochemistry. So if you're afraid, I want you to look at that because there's nothing to be afraid of. We're in a full, forced alt-delete program right now and we're getting ready for the new Earth's arrival, the new money, the new food, the new systems. We cannot do that if we keep running the program of future addiction because it's fear. You living constantly in hopes and excitement of the future is actually coming from fear. So I just wanted to like leak that for you and let you know direct from spirit. Also direct from spirit is if the door's not open right now, don't walk through it. Only walk through doors that are opened and that's a metaphor. So people who are available, things that are available, things that you can do, that's what you should be doing. Any shut doors right now, do not try to walk through those doors. Do not try to push them open. Do not force your way into anything right now. This is the seventh step of manifestation that's going to unlock the new earth, which is called surrender, if you understand the frequencies of manifestation. All right, let's jump in. I'm going to do an hour. Let's see what we can get accomplished with an hour. We left off with Joanna. Uh, next question is Vanessa. Hi, Jess. I'm wondering what your take is on luck. Do you believe in luck? Is there bad luck or are we always manifesting everything? Um, I would say definitely say take an opportunity to like spend some time in this group and go through some classes and archives because luck doesn't exist. You are always, always, always 1 million percent creating your own reality with your thoughts, feelings, beliefs, and actions. Now, why something will manifest that you won't understand why in the present moment is because you didn't manifest it in the present moment. You manifested it from a collection of energy 
that then begin to materialize, create form, and then you manifest it. So most of the time, by the time we manifest anything, we're a different person in the manifestation because when we manifested it energetically, we were in one vibration, and then we get to another vibration, and then that matter, which is dense, the energy is very quick, dense is very, very slow. To create something in physical reality requires time and space. So by the time you want something, and then you rush to the next moment, and then it happens, you can call it luck or you can call it bad luck because you can be in a better vibration or a worse vibration, but that energy is still catching up with you. And if you're still in alignment with it at all, you will manifest it and call it luck. But there is no such thing as luck. There is no such thing as random. Nothing is ever happening on accident. Everything is right on time. The perfect, even the guy bumping into you on the street corner was all divine design. There is no random. So spend some time in this class because I do a lot of teaching about manifestation here. There's seven steps that you're using, whether you're conscious or unconscious of it, to get to your final product. And you can be more deliberate and create luck for yourself, or you can create bad luck if you're not paying attention. Okay?